You guys ready to show up to win? Yeah. Oh, that, that was a little weak, you guys. Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you for a lot of participation, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, because that is what it takes to win. Okay. So God, can you guys do that for me? I know it's late in the day. You guys have been sitting down a long time listening to these phenomenal speakers. It's such a blessing to be up here on the stage and to be a part of the caliber of speakers that you guys have been able to learn from. And I want you guys to participate, OK? Can you guys do that for me? Yeah. So are you guys ready to win? Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do, Donna told you a little bit about um, my story. Real briefly, I am not only a gold medalist um, that turned into a online network marketer, I'm a mother. I have a beautiful, beautiful family. And I grew up in Long Beach, not too far from here. Long Beach, all right. I am a jackrabbit, went to Long Beach Poly. Okay, and I come from a family of entrepreneurs and athletes. My father was an athlete, my mom was an athlete, she was a cheerleader. That is, a, that's the sport, you guys, okay? <laughs> that is a sport. And um, both of their parents were entrepreneurs as well. So it's in my blood to be both competitive, athletic, and to be entrepreneurial. And one of the things that was, I guess, just in my DNA was to always have that winning spirit. And what I want to share with you is a little bit about my story. I'm going to get personal and transparent and share some of the stories that I've been through along my journey from going to an ex, well, ex-professional athlete, Olympic gold medalist, to a network marketer um, who is you know, continuing to strive for success. Because I know that everybody in this room is not where they want to be. Have we all hit the finish line? Nope. OK, so I'm going to show you what you need to do to get there. OK, some key principles. It's not connected. <laughs> Real savvy, but not tech savvy, OK? But while she's doing that, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about my story. So I um, went from, I was always athletic. I was the little girl who used to go outside and want to compete with all the boys. And um, I had a younger brother who was about almost two years younger than me. And we were always in competition. Not always friendly competition, but <laughs> in competition. And, um, what I remember most about growing up is always striving to be the best. I was that girl that got a 4.0. I was that girl who was always first in um, whatever I did. I went to UCLA and of all things, for whatever reason, I didn't study psychology or sociology or something easy that any other athlete would have chosen to do. I wanted to choose biochem. OK, call me crazy. I know I'm nuts. But, <laughs> and, and I, but it was one of those things. I'm going to always do the things that people think that I can't. I'm going to always do the things that are challenging, that take a little bit of extra effort, that take a little bit of extra time, that are going to take me to another level. And that is the mindset that, I've, that my parents have always instilled in me and what I think has helped me to propel myself not only in life but in business as well. And it's a very, very important element because we, no matter where we are in our lives, no matter what we're doing, 
no matter how much talent that we think that we have or that we don't have, if you believe that you are the best, if you believe that you can always do the things that people tell you that you can't do, then you will always find a way to win. It is inevitable. You cannot fail if you believe within yourself, no matter what your surroundings are telling you, no matter what your friends and family are telling you, no matter what even sometimes the negative thoughts that you're telling yourself, but if you always come back to center and you always focus on what is most important, you will always find a way to show up and to win. So, I don't know what that is, okay. But this is me here, um, 2000 Olympic gold medalist and online entrepreneur, okay. UCLA, UCLA Bruin, I am a Trojan killer. So anybody <laughs> that went to UC, <laughs> anybody that went to USC in here, <laughs> take note, okay. <laughs> and this is my beautiful family, my supportive husband and my little man right here, okay. So why is winning important, okay? Can somebody tell me why winning is important? Why is winning important? Exactly. Anybody else? Yep. You, you're rewarded. You feel good when you win. Who feels good when they lose? When somebody tells you, oh, it's okay, you came in second. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> It really isn't okay. So next time somebody tells you, it's okay, it's okay to fail, it's okay, get them next time, it's not okay, okay? It, it, <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Winning is important because it inspires other people, okay? And we are in the game of network marketing to inspire and change other people's lives. Isn't that correct? Okay, so if you can show them that you're winning, that, you're, that you got from point A to point B and you crossed the finish line, what does that show them? That it shows them that they can do it too. It inspires people, okay? It motivates people. It shows them accomplishments. And most of all, we like to win because of recognition. We like people to come pat us on the back and say, you did a good job. That's why we like to win because it feels good. Now, how do you start winning? You have to have vision. And every single leader that has been up here has told you the exact same thing. If you don't have vision, then there's no way that you can get to your destination. If you don't take the dream that you had, the goals that you want to accomplish, and have vision, you, you, if you can't see it for yourself, then you will never be able to put the pieces together to be able to know how to get to that endpoint. Isn't that correct? You have to start with vision. You have to know exactly what it is that you want specifically. This is a quote that I love. Cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of, of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievement. Your vision is the seed of every single thing that you want to accomplish. And if you don't have, if you're not planting seeds of vision, if you're not taking your visions and transforming them, putting action behind them, then you will not have the ultimate achievement, okay? And it could be in anything that you want to accomplish. Winners always see their success before it happens. I can remember, okay, don't, I'm, I'm a weirdo, but I can remember that as a young girl, the other kids in the neighborhood would come and knock on the door and they would ask my mom, is Andrea home? Can she come out and play? And I would tell my mom that I can't come out and play because I'm thinking about what I want to do with my life. I'm, th I'm visualizing, I, I would have a little spot in my room and I would sit there and I would think, uh, I would actually visualize myself, whether it was um, winning a race, whether it was running, whether it was getting good grades in school, I would actually visualize myself doing it. And I prefer, it, I prefer to do those things other than go outside and play because I had a dream and I had a vision 
of doing things and accomplishing my goals and going outside and play, playing, if that wasn't going to help me to get to where I wanted to be, I wasn't going to do it, okay? So visualize success long before it ever becomes a reality. And you wanna focus all of that energy on that vision, and that is how your dreams manifest. That is how they become reality. Now, I love this picture here because it reminds me as a kid how we used to pretend. We would always pretend to be what we dreamed or wanted to be in life, whether it was a superhero, whether it was, you know, Barbie, whether it was, um, you know, just any, anything that we wanted to accomplish or anything that we wanted to have, we would pretend as kids. And we don't do that as we get older. It's bad to pretend. People tell you, you know, don't fake it, you know. It's, it's not good to, to pretend. But what is so pure and genuine about this is that we really believe, this kid probably really believes that he is a superhero. So why is it any different when we get older? If we want to be a network marketer, why is it that we can't believe with all conviction that that's what we want to be, a successful network marketer at that? If we believe that we can manifest a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, whatever your goal may be, why can't we believe with as much conviction as we have when we were younger, when we were little kids playing outside, you know, in the backyard, putting up fake tents and, you know, making fake castles and all of those things, but we believe that that was real. So I want to encourage you guys to take yourselves back to when you were younger and the feeling that you got when you were pretending to be everything that you wanted to be in life, okay? Because that will help motivate you. Now, how do you visualize the success that you want in your life? These are some of the things that I do. I wake up every single morning and I take a mental snapshot of how I want my day to go. Before I get out of bed every morning, I will take a couple of minutes and I'll say, okay, this is what I need to do today, and I walk through my actions. Okay, it's a, it's a daily habit and it's a routine. I visually walk through my actions. I have to, I visualize myself making the sale. I visualize myself closing the deal. I visualize myself making money. I visualize myself walking into the bank with my big fat check and depositing my money in the bank. Do you guys take the time to walk through your actions and make it a daily habit? If you're not doing it, it's not gonna manifest in your life. Okay. Number two, you need a game plan. You need to be able to map out exactly what it is that you want to accomplish. Once you have, once you have vision, you need to develop a plan. Where do you, where do you want to be in your business? Okay. How am I preparing mentally to manifest my goals? Why am I in this business? They tell you to write, that's probably the, the first thing that they tell you to do, write down your why. And it's very important, because it'll keep you motivated. What are your strengths? And what qualities do I have that will help you to be successful in your business? What does your ideal day look like? Do you guys know what you want to do when you find that success that you want to have? Do you know where you want to be? Do you want to be in Maui, laying on the, the beach with your laptop, working a four-hour day? Okay, understand and know exactly what your ideal day looks like. Know what you're passionate about. Know what moves you from the inside. How much conviction do you have in what you're doing? Are you just playing around with your business? Or do you truly believe in what you have? 
What do I want to be remembered for? Oh, sorry. What mark do I want to leave on this world? And what am I willing to give up to create success? Because success never comes without sacrifice. So you need to know what do you want to accomplish. You need to know when. You need to know why. And you need to know how you're going to get there. Number three is pre preparation. OK? Success depends upon previous preparation. And without such preparation, there is sure to be failure. <laughs> this was cute. <laughs> but are, are you working out? Are you conditioning yourself for success? OK? Are you doing the things necessary to build and condition your mind, your body, and your spirit to accept success, to accept winning? What are you doing day in and day out to prepare yourself for the success that you desire? If each and every day, you, at the end of the day, you can't say, that was a great day and I'm one step closer to accomplishing my dreams, then you need to reevaluate what it is that you're doing. Now, as an athlete, you have to have the right tools. You can't play basketball without a basketball. I can't get on the track without track shoes, OK? You can't be a network marketer or an entrepreneur without the right tools. You've got to have the systems. You've got to have the personal development. You've got to have the marketing strategies. You have to have the equipment. You have to have, you have, to have the right team. You have to have the right opportunity, OK? All of these things will help you to stay well equipped so that you can receive the success. You can position yourself to succeed and to win in your business. You have to have the right tools. And you have to have the right skill. You have to know your strengths. Have you guys written down your strengths? If you haven't done that, you need to take the time to say, what am I strong at? What are my strong points? And lead with your strengths. Don't worry about what you can't do, and don't worry about what other people have or skills that other people have that you don't yet have. You can learn those skills. But if you lead with your strengths, you will not find yourself stuck trying to build a business based on skills that you don't yet have. Because if you do that, your business will never go anywhere. OK? So all of us have strengths. Hone your skills. Use your strengths. Learn what you lack. Because every single thing in this business can be learned. There's nothing that Todd Falcone or Randy Gage or any one of us know that you can't learn and know for yourself. OK? Understand that. And you have to practice, practice, practice. Now, this is probably one of the most important principles. You got to have a coach. Everything, think about everything that you learned. You, you probably learned it from someone else, right? Would you agree? Yeah. OK. So what makes it different, any difference in your network marketing business? Why do you think that you can go out and just wing it or do it on your own? without a coach, without a mentor, without someone who can motivate you and teach you the details and the nuances that a book, that a webinar, that a, any type of conference call will not be able to tell you. You need to be able to have an over-the-shoulder view of what other successful leaders who have been there and done that before you, what they are doing. That is how you succeed. There's no such thing as reinventing the wheel. If they found success, you need to do what it is that they're doing so that you can have success in your life as well. And you need to be willing to go out and search for the right coach that fits you. It may not be your upline leader. OK, you need to find someone who can show you the right way to get you to where you want to be, because success breeds success.
a coach will be able to show you how to implement the system and how to train to succeed. There was no way in the world that I would have ever been able to achieve the accomplishments that I had as a gold medal mark, as a gold medalist, if I did not have the opportunity to have the best coach in the world, if I didn't get a chance to train with Jackie Joyner Kersey and Gail Devers and other top level athletes. I got to get on that track every single day, see exactly what it is that they were doing, how they were lifting their leg, how they were running across the track, how they were, uh, what they were eating, what they were doing, their mindset. I got to see that and I got to experience it for myself and, and embody what they taught me and that is what led me to the ultimate goal of me being able to accomplish my dreams of becoming a medalist because I had, some, I had people there who can show me exactly how to do it step by step by step by step, okay? So a coach and um, being surrounded by people who can show you the way is so important. So if you do not have a mentor, I encourage you to find one ASAP because it's that important. And you have to have the right mindset, conditioning your mind. Um, I always felt that one of my greatest assets was not my physical ability, but my mental ability, okay? And that was what helped me to get through those tough times. When I didn't want to get on that track and run another lap, when my body hurt, when I was sore, when Things weren't going right. I wasn't running the times that I wanted to run. I wasn't um, accomplishing the things that I wanted to accomplish. I always knew that if I kept a positive mindset that I would be able to get through that rough patch and eventually accomplish those goals, continue on accomplishing those goals. So how do you keep a positive mindset? With affirmations, positive thinking, belief, and knowing that failure is never an option. Like I said before, it's not okay to lose. It's not okay to fail. People say, oh, you can fail up. <laughs> okay, give, give them that eye, just like that when they tell you. <laughs> so believe that you are. Believe that you are what you want to accomplish. I am. I am. I am. Can you guys say that? I am. I am. I am. Okay, you have to know that you are anything that you want to be in your business, in your life, as a mom, as a daughter, as an aunt, as whatever it is, you are. And once you understand that, you will kill any fear that you have and you will nix any limiting beliefs. When you know that you are, that you are, that you are, that you are. Do you understand? Okay, always, always, always do what you're afraid to do. All of us are scared of something, okay? I was scared to get up here on this stage today. Understand that. But I'm here and I'm doing it. And next time, I'll do it again. And I'll do it again. And I'll do it again. And I'll do it again. So do what it is that you are always afraid to do. That's the one thing that entrepreneurs that, that keeps them stuck because they get scared. They get scared and they have, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this, and they don't, okay? So understand that if you're gonna ever move forward, ever get to that goal, ever get to that, um, the top of the comp plan, you gotta do it. You gotta do, 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 do. And understand that you're deserving. I'm gonna tell you a, little, I'm gonna tell you a story. And my mom's in the room here, <laughs> and she can probably remember. But um, there was a track meet that I had at UCLA, and it was one of the worst meets that I had ever had. I had just got finished running um, the relay, the final event, and I felt like I was running backwards, and I just saw everybody start passing me. And I said, what the heck is going on? And it was weird because I was, I, that same week, I had had the best practice of my life. And after the meet, my parents were like, well, what's wrong? And 
You know, I was just like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what was wrong. I, I wanted to quit. I was like, I'm done with this track thing. I, I, I can't do it. And later on that evening, I was just, I was thinking of why I couldn't give them an answer to why I didn't want to do the one thing that I loved the most. And, and it was, it was one of those moments when I thought, I don't deserve success. I don't deserve to be a leader. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to be the captain of my team. I didn't want that pressure on me to have to always be the one to win all the time. Because it, it can be a burden. Winning, we love it, but it can be the death of you as well if you're not careful. And you have to understand that you deserve success. You deserve to live the life that you want to live. You deserve to have all of the rewards and the abundance and the prosperity that you want to have in your life because it belongs to you and nobody can take it away unless you let them. Do you guys understand that? OK. You deserve it. So are you guilty of self-sabotage? Because a lot of us are guilty of this, not only in our business, but in our life as well. We tell ourselves we want something so bad, but then we do the actions that are taking us backwards, that are not, and we don't know, why, why are we doing that? Because you are afraid, because you're scared, because you don't think that you deserve it. When you do, understand that you un understand that, that you deserve to be successful, that you deserve to live a life that nobody else can give you but yourself. Trust your talent. God gave you all talent. Trust it, use it. If you don't use what you have, you are going to lose what you have. OK, the three C's. This is after I got out of my funk. This is, what, <laughs> this is what I started to live by. I started, I said, I'm going to be more committed, more confident, and more in control than any other athlete out on that track. And if I can accomplish this, then nobody can beat me, OK? If you walk in confidence and you believe in yourself, success is what you will live. And it will resonate in every single aspect of your daily life. It will reflect in your speech, the way that you connect with people, and in your actions. And this is how people can tell that you are a winner. You, do you see people and you can just look at them and they look like they're winners? They look like they're successful. They walk and posture in a way that tells the whole world that they are a success. And they attract people to them without even opening their mouth because they are confident. OK, they're confident. Now, the only competition that matters is the competition that you have with yourself. Do you guys understand that as business owners, as entrepreneurs, there's always going to be someone out there that's doing better than you, that got through the comp plan faster, that is recruiting more people, but when we stop looking at what other people are doing and what other people have and focus on how we are going to get to where we want to be, we'll find that we'll get there so much faster. OK, the only competition, the only person that you need to be focused on is yourself. Nobody else can put a million bucks in your bank account but you. So focus on what you have and start putting action behind your talents and what you want to do 
and you will be able to achieve that success. Now, this is very important because you have to expect to win. Do you guys, have you guys ever had that person, that one girlfriend or um, that, that family member that just seemed to win at everything? They went to the car dealership and they got this a discount. You know, they, uh, <laughs> they play basketball and never been on the basketball court, but whipped you up, okay? But they all, every, sing, every single thing that they do, they just seem to have that knack for winning. What makes them different than you? They expect to win. Everything that they do in life, they expect to go out there and they, it's a part of them. They, they don't expect to lose. They expect to win every single time and in every single thing. So if you can see it, you can imagine it, if you can feel it, if you can hear it, if you can live it, if you can be it, then you can expect it. So do you guys expect success in your life? Do you expect success in your life? All right. So you have to ask yourself, seriously, are you playing to win? Or are you just waiting for you know, someone to come swoop you up and run or get that championship for you? Are you, are you looking to be the sixth man or are you looking to be you know, the starter? Are you playing this game to win? Are you doing the things in your business that are going to help you to win? Or do you have the right attitude that is going to help you to win? Do you have the right mindset? Are you, do you have the right tools to win? If you don't have the proper tools, if you don't have all of the pieces of the puzzle together, how can you get on the court and really truly play and expect to win the game? You can't. So if there's anything that's lacking in your business that you think that you can be doing better, you need to evaluate that right now and find out how you can fix it. Now all of these key concepts and principles that I just share with you don't mean a thing unless you put action behind it. You can have the best mindset in the world, think that everything's going to be hunky-dory and I'm going to do it, I'm going to win, but if you don't get on that starting line, if you don't run the race, you are not going to win. Winning is a lifestyle. Winning is not something that you do, it's who you are. It is a part of your being. And like I said, you have to start if you're going to finish. You can't fail, you can't win if you don't do anything. So I'd rather have 1% of my very best than to have 100% of nothing. So if you're sitting on the sideline and you're still waiting for someone to start the game for you, it's not going to happen. You have to get out there and you have to take control and you have to run the race and you have to run it the best that you can and you have to run it like your life depends on it. Like your life depends on it. That is how you're going to succeed. So you have to suit up and you have to show up if you want to win. It's the only way to play the game. You got to get your jersey dirty. Okay? You got to suit up. You got to put your gear on. You got to take all the principles, all the practice, everything that you've learned along the way, and you have to put action behind it because that is the only way that you're going to accomplish your dreams and your goals and to have the wonderful vision that you have for you and your family. That's the only way that is going to come to life. So now, if you guys are interested in more winning tips, I am, my niche is net, um, internet marketing. I do a lot of internet um, online marketing. And for more winning tips, you can always visit my blog. It's thegoldmedalmarketer.com. 
okay? Teaching you the techniques to winning the Olympics of internet marketing. That's what it is. <laughs>